<laughs> What's going on, DMG clan? Today, something unexpected happened. The team over at Nixie sent me one of their products. So today, we're going to take an in-depth look at this awesome looking controller designed with the GameCube in mind for the Nintendo Switch. That's right, DMG clan. The awesome folks over at Nixie sent me this controller. And yes, it looks exactly like the GameCube controller, but it's for the Nintendo Switch. So this little box has replacement joysticks plus joysticks that kind of look like the original C-Stick that the original Nintendo GameCube controller had. As it looks like on the box, it comes with two full-size sticks. So this was kind of cool to see that they included this. We also have a center slide with a USB-C charging connection under the white sleeve. According to this website, they offer this as an extra add-on. Mind you, I think this should just be an item that comes with the controller by default, rather than you having to spend an extra 13, I think 15 bucks, I think it was. Inside the controller box, we have our USB-C charging cable and two more joystick rings. According to this manual, we just need to twist these counterclockwise to change out the joysticks. Then we have this beautiful Nintendo Switch controller with the Hall Effect joysticks, meaning they should never drift, at least not in our lifetime. You'll be able to play lots of games on this controller. The feel of this controller is nice, but I would like a grip of some sort, as the plastic does feel a bit smooth. And if you think about the Xbox One controller, for example, it has kind of a raised bump feel on the back or on the handles, which gives the plastic a bit of a grip to it. I would like to see that maybe in a revamped model of this controller. Otherwise, it feels great overall. So the mechanical triggers make for an awesome experience since most games are digital on the Nintendo Switch and we don't need analog triggers for most games. So this button layout was a good choice. They're perfect for any game. The other buttons are tactile feeling to the press and we have two programmable buttons on the back that just act as a secondary button to two primary buttons on the front. And the A, B, X, and Y buttons actually light up, which is actually really nice when you're laying in bed at nighttime. Now, I didn't kind of show this here, but you can kind of see it when I start playing with the games. Now for the center charging block, I thought at first this was just an extra one, but I guess the original controller doesn't have this. Otherwise, the controllers would have had to charge separately if you had them separated from this little block by the USB-C on the bottom. I think this should just be something that they have regardless. It seems like this was kind of an afterthought process when it came to the design. Playing games with these were amazing. Even my wife played a, a whole cup of Mario Kart in bed after I checked this out. The buttons didn't feel cheap or tacky. The joysticks responded the way you'd want Hall Effects joysticks to respond. The mechanical triggers were actually not that annoying when playing games. Mind you, I think if you were playing some Smash, your neighbor might get annoyed. Otherwise, the overall feel and look of this controller was great. The gameplay was great. This controller only had two minor gripes. One, which was personal, being the grips and the plastic feel. The other, I'm assuming, is just something they probably should have done and didn't think of at the time when they released it, which is that charging block. Otherwise, I think if you love the GameCube-style controller and own a Nintendo Switch, you should definitely get one of these Nixie Wizard controllers because I'm really impressed by the quality and the build of this thing. I don't buy a lot of Nintendo Switch secondhand controllers other than my Binbok one that I've had for a couple of years now. And this Nixie controller really is nice. Not saying it because I got sent it. I'm saying it because I bought another one. My wife doesn't know yet. Have a good day, guys. I will see you next time on the channel. If you want to see more about this Nixie controller, maybe some gameplay with it, or maybe more of a deep dive as in how it sounds compared to an actual GameCube controller, then stay tuned, because I might do a short about that anyways. Bye bye